What's up guys, how to base house, let's go. Let me back up. Let's check the intro real quick. So I found this super cool sample on Splice. And I transposed it one semitone. Add my classic serum raised bass on top of it. With a little bit of sausage fattener, 10%. Get classic Amen breakbeat time stretch it to the BPM of the track. Use filter automation to bring it in, but make sure to remove all the low end so it doesn't clash with the sub. Made this little sound effect in Serum with a lot of reverb and delay. Got randomly inspired by this basic piano key. Added distortion to it, delay, reverb, and transposed it up and down to create a melody. Random sound effect. Little melody I wrote in Serum. Repeat it one octave higher. Found some generic vocals. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me back up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, let me back up. As usual, for uh, overall transitions, we have a bunch of sound effects. We have a white noise downlifter, impact sound, little serum uplifter, basic crash, reverse crash. Here's everything together. All right, that's it for the intro. Now let's look at the build up real quick before we do the drop. We have a snare build up, white noise downlifter, random sound, and a few samples from the drop, which I will explain in a moment. We have a plugin called Endless Smile on the master channel, which I like to use on my master channel to create some form of rising effect. You simply choose one of the presets and you automate the intensity knob. Here's what the buildup sounds like without the plugin running. Let me back up. And there's what it sounds like with the plugin. Let me back up. Here's the full buildup. Kick, ride, hi hat loop, shaker, clap, all together. Duplicate the clap and reverse it to make what we call the pre shifter. Adjust the fade in and reduce its volume a little bit. Sounds like this. Now, I love to do sound design and make my own sounds, but in this song, I wanted to make a drop with only sample manipulation and effects. Let's listen to each ingredient. I'm using small parts of the samples with fade-ins, fade-outs and transposition to change the note of the sample and make my own melody out of them. Here's what it sounds like without the effects chain. Now we're using a sausage fattener, trash, tube, fab filter pro MB, little bit of EQing, kickstart for my side chaining. Here's what it sounds like with the effects. Now some of these samples don't really have any sub content, so I'm using a dedicated serum um, with a little bit of distortion to play a simple sine wave. Finally, we have a side chained crowd noise to fill up some space. For the bridge section, we have a sample that I've made from this sample here. Let's get money. Let's get, get money. Get money. Get, get money. Get money. Get money. money. All together. <laughs> And we have a small section of breakdown before the trap drop. Symbol loop. Another one. Snare. Kick. 808. Rave sound. Random vocals. Yo, check it out. Yo, check it out. Splice sound. Another splice loop.
That's pretty much the main elements of the tracks. Uh, I invite you to listen to the final mastered version on YouTube or Spotify. It's called Mad Duke Hustler. If you want to make your own Splice account, here is my referral code. If you want to publish your own music on Spotify, here is my DistroKid referral code. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial slash track breakdown. As you can see, you don't necessarily need sound design. Actually, for me, working with samples has helped me understand how sounds are made. So anyway, good luck in your projects. Don't forget to join my Discord, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, follow my Twitch, my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and see you next time.